Hey everyone, uh, e-learning again. It's gonna be this way for the rest of the year now, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but I've changed things up a little bit to hopefully make things easier. Um, still the four project options, but I've put everything into a Google slide. So you can get your packet with your information off the slide. You can get these instructions and you can get um, examples of each project. Um, so if you click on the example for the Photoshop project, it will take you to the slide that has um, an image of what the Photoshop project looks like. And you can click on that image and it'll take you directly to the YouTube tutorial. Um, so the Photoshop project this week is to do um, create your own cereal box. So basically you're using a lot of simple tools in Photoshop. Um, you're using your shape tool, your um, paint bucket, your fill bucket to get the colors you want. You're using a text tool to get the name of your cereal. You know, you find a photo of a bowl of cereal. You can put, you know, funny things in it or, or something that looks like a real cereal inside. Um, you can have like a character like a lot of cereals have. Um, so just kind of playing around with Photoshop um, to get some different effects and to get um, what would look like a real cereal box. Um, so that's the Photoshop project if you have Photoshop and want to do that. Um, the second project is with the Pixlr app. Um, it's using the Pixlr website, which we've used before, or some of you have used before. Um, and it's to create an outline around a photo. So you can have a picture of a person, you can have a picture of a character, a uh, picture of an animal, uh, whatever you want, but it shows you how to create an outline around them. And then they show you some cool things to use some of the Pixlr stickers, Pixlr borders, Pixlr backgrounds um, to kind of finish that up. So that's another option. The analysis option, nobody's <laughs> chosen that so far. So I put in the slides um, an example of what that would look like. So I've got a picture of an ad on there and then I've written my analysis underneath. It really is pretty easy. Um, so I'm thinking maybe with just an example that might help you out understanding what I, I mean by that. And uh, maybe you'll do that if it, if it interests you. And then the last thing, the graphic design uh, project, there's a London-based artist, her name is Laquina. Um, and she creates all these really cool murals, paintings, um, designs, but they all have like words or, or positive phrases. Um, so if you click on the example for the graphic design, you'll see one of hers that says, the best is yet to come. So very short phrase, um, but it's not just text. There's lots of color, there's lots of pattern and shapes. Um, and I recreated that exact um, image that you see on the example. I recreated it, changed um, changed the phrase, um, and you know, changed the colors, but I, I was able to do everything that she has in her painting in Photoshop just using the shape tool, the fill bucket to change the colors, and then the text tool um, to write the text. Um, I used um, the drop shadow, I think, for you know getting that white underneath underneath the text so I can you can play with the different effects with text um, but really everything was able to recreate just using a few um, simple Photoshop tools and because it's text you can easily do that um, with like the Pixlr app or other um, phone photo apps that have you know text uh, options on them so basically you're creating some sort of positive phrase design um, more than just the text, but, you know, pattern, shapes, colors. Um, if you're working just with, like, paper, you can do that with pencil, paper, markers, colored pencils, whatever you want. So, again, four options. Everything's on this slide. Um, if you want to submit your project in Google Classroom, you can do it that way. Um, or if you're more comfortable just emailing me your finished project like we've been doing the last few weeks, you can do that, too. Um, remember, on Fridays, I will be hosting Zoom meetings um, for all my classes, Fridays at 1.30, so you can come in, just hang out. We do a check-in, just see how everyone's doing. Um, I give some time uh, if anyone has questions. So last week we did have a Photoshop student come in and you know have a question about the project. So you can ask questions if something's not, not working out. Um, we, uh, I showed examples. So kids turning in projects, I just put them in a Google slide. So I shared that in the, in the Zoom meeting. Um, so you could see a couple pictures of student work 
throughout the week that's been turned in so far in case you hadn't turned yours in yet. And then we played a game of Pictionary. So um, that might be something you are not interested in, but you could play. It's pretty simple. Um, I send a private message to someone and give them like a prompt like, draw a armadillo. And then that person draws it on like a post-it note or a small piece of paper. When they have their drawing done, they hold it up to the screen and then everyone can guess like what it is. And then the winner could play the next round and so on and so on, just like the game Pictionary. Um, so that's what we do in Zoom meetings. If you want to, if you want to check that out, I would love to see you guys and, and talk. Um, if you have questions about things, please email me. Um, let me know. I'll be by the computer. I can get back to you pretty quickly. And I look forward to seeing what you create. The stuff that you've done so far has been awesome. Thank you to those of you who have been, you know, working hard to get things in on time. Um, if they don't come in on time, that's okay. Just get them to me as soon as possible so I can update your grade in the grade book. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you, what you make. And I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.